Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to build a small little program that has, it takes an input, handles some errors, and also works on some font, some spacing, some uh, a, a little bit of a print function. Here, we'll just run this real fast. So all right. So all right, what we're gonna do here is we're taking our input, it's pausing, then we're gonna give in a number, and we're gonna press enter, and what this is, is this is actually gonna print out the times table, and it's up to eight, so eight by eight. So everybody remembers their times tables. But here it prints out the columns and rows. So you can go through and see eight times zero, then one times eight, two times eight, and so on. Then I even have it down here where it's going to say, would you like to do this again? Yes, and we can do even up to 10 for spacing and so on. And then no, and then we quit. So let's just, let's just get started. So all right, all right, let's get started. So we have to start with our, our first definition. So definition is times table. All right. So when we do our times table, we are just going to have it take in our input, and we'll deal with the error handling in a, in, at, at a later time. So we're going to take in our input. And there's videos on input, but um, this is a function. It's purple. And you guys should know all this by now. But there's plenty of videos that you can look around. So all right, then we're gonna give our message, so whatever we want it to say. Please, please enter a number. Please enter a number. And again, you could do this. You could have this be whatever, whatever message you'd like it to be. Close it out. And so then we need to call this if I type this right. So let's save and run. Let's see if this does. Okay. It didn't crash, but let's quickly just make sure that this is what we want and it's taking in taking in the variable and assigning it and so forth. Okay, so we're gonna do this step by step by step by step, incremental. Actually, first, let me show you error handling. So what it does, because it's gonna be right here. This is gonna be this try and accept, then whatever message we want. So let's save and run this. So all right, before we did eight, right? So yes. Now, let's just say before, or all this other times, we've been the user and the programmer so we know what we have to do well you know how when you are on a website and you enter something it says no try again or this this field needs to be filled so this is exceptions and air handling and things like that so let's just put R or we screw up and put yes here and it says oops please enter a number would you like to try again yes and then we do uh, a number and we go through would you like to do no so then it cancels out so all right the way that you handle this is try and accept so let's do that okay so the way that you handle exceptions are try and accept it says basically try this first if you throw any sort of error well here let's just let's just do this right here so let's save and run this and put in M and it's just gonna print this out but to remind everybody, the default on this is a string. So, but let's change this. We have to do math with it, right? So, we're going to reassign this to print x. And throws up all over the place. So this is why we have to do air handling. So all right, let's get started on that.
and I'm just going to show you there are tons of air handling and then you can even create your own air, air handling for exceptions um, but we're just going to do we're just going to do the simple um, value error so all right let's just let's not worry about indentation let's just get rid of this so first we're going to try so to remind you about our indentation it's going to try everything in this block first before and then let's just do accept so like I was going to say value error because oh, where is it uh, 10 days uh, number right here so that's why we're just going to stick with ah oh, there it is value error it tells us what the error is this is what I love about Python it's going to tell you where what and how to fix it you just go work your way backwards and come on up so all right print what I say wait oops Let's change it. Please enter a number. All right. Or whatever you'd like to say. If you'd like to be more harsh, feel free to be more harsh. But you may not want to do that. So think about what we did. I had to convert this to a number. Let's just go step by step and see how we're doing. All right, let's run it again. Cool. So, our first little increment is working. So, now let's work on our formatting and our math. So let's just think about what our what we're needing to do. We're taking in a number and we're gonna do some math to it, right? And we're gonna go through it nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how do we go through certain how do we go through things with Python a certain number of times? We use our for loops. This way. This is just a shot in the dark. Let's see how how we're doing. Let's just keep this simple. Let's see. So what happened? It has all these groups. But we're not we're not getting in the right spot. So now we're getting in the right spot, but we're not suppressing everybody remember how to do this? Not suppressing our so boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So okay. We have our we have eight, but we want to start with our we need to get zero through eight. So that's really nine, right? So we need to add one. So we need, really need to get nine in here. So, all right, let's look at this. All right, now let's now let's just get going. So we have the format. Now let's now how are we going to do the math? So 
just simple arithmetic. We got our I's plus our J's. Oh, holy moly, what is this? All right, so math is, if you look really close, what's eight times eight? 64. What's eight times zero? What's one times eight? So they're all here, but it is just a absolute hodgepodge. So now this is where formatting starts. I'm just going to do, I'm just gonna show you a super simple way to do formatting. And I know this is gonna look weird. And then, and we'll go through this. So what this is saying is take this information. We saw a video on modulo. This is also kind of best way, let's call it a placeholder. So what I'm saying is put this into a string. It's inside a string. Remember, if it's in quotations, it's a string, S string. So this right here, this took me forever to wrap my head around. Let's look at, let's look right here. We have a space, then one, two. This basically says, give me a three space. And for every one of these, and you, it, here's our arithmetic from before. You can rewind it back. This is our arithmetic. And it says, put, basically how you want to read this is, this is how much space I want. It's going to be a string. And then this is what you're going to put in here every single time. So it converts this to a string and it needs three spaces. And just don't overcomplicate it from there. So this is a very, very quick, quick way to do a times table. And you could do something like this to help your brother or sister learn, learn their learn their arithmetic and their times tables. So thanks for watching. Hope you're getting something out of this. Don't forget to click the subscribe and uh, leave comments below. Thanks guys. See you next time.